Hello everyone, it's Disney King here, back for a new episode of Princess Majestic Quest. And it's the first video of Majestic Quest for me in 2021. So hopefully they will update the game, you know, because we're still waiting for that update. Anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, please give the video a like. And subscribe if you want to. Turn on a notification bell so you don't miss my videos. I try to post often as I can. Anyway, let's talk about Majestic Quest for a moment here. Now, the last time it was updated was the 29th of June. Now, that was a while ago, and the game hasn't really updated much. But I asked on the official Facebook account, and here is how, what they said to me. Hello, Bradley Nolte. That's my actual name. Thank you for supporting the game. As of the moment, there is no announcement regarding the new updates that the game will receive. We will keep you posted. So I was thinking, okay, I just gotta wait a little while longer, I gotta be patient. I asked this sometime in July, and it's been a few months since July 2020, and I've been just asking a few times, you know, once in a while, check on their posts, because they're still uploading on their Facebook account, and they only replied to me on January the 9th, 2021. Seriously, in so many months, you do not update the game. Seriously, like, I understand it's probably very hard to, you know, keep update a game a lot, but it feels like that they're really not even trying. Like, you don't have to update all the time, but just, you know, give some new stuff here and there. Like, it just makes me really angry. And one of the things they wrote on their Facebook account is anything about a New Year's resolution, and I wrote, update the game that can be yours and then when they finally did reply to one of my old messages not even the one that i read earlier another one i wrote stop making excuses it's been months now please update the game but it's not only me that's been complaining that the game hasn't been updated a few people on the facebook have been complaining about this problem so I'm not the only one that's been complaining about the game's lack of updates. But I do kind of want to talk about some ideas that they could do. Maybe they can add some new princesses. Like, maybe they can add the ones based on the jewels that they have in the game. Because they have Snow White, Rapunzel, and Pocahontas' jewels, but they don't have the princesses. And I feel like that just doesn't really make any sense. Like, you think the game would have added them by now. The game has been around for a year now. Although I've only been playing since COVID-19. But the game has been around for a year. And they still haven't updated and added those princesses. And I feel like it just doesn't make any sense. Because, you know, we have the jewels, but we don't have the princesses. I'd also like to see princesses like Moana, Elsa and Anna, and Merida. Speaking of Merida, I actually did participate in the Brave Limited Time event in DMK. If you guys don't know what DMK is, you should definitely check that out. It's a very fun game. I recommend playing it. It has amazing stories and characters. Anyway, I got the quest to welcome Merida, but I didn't get her because the quests were- there were very few of them that I could actually do with the characters that I had. I had to have certain ones at a certain level, and I had to get certain things that cost lots of money, and I don't think I was going to get in time. I did try to work with the stuff I already had, but no matter how hard I tried, I only got one of her ears hats. I did get six of her bow and arrows though. It was just really, really fun, you know. I was really proud of myself that I was able to get so far into the game that I actually got the quest to welcome the lost character. Like, I've never had that before, and I'm really proud of myself that I was able to get to that point in the game. But I do feel like that Disney's Magic Kingdoms really needs to work on a few things because they were expecting me to do a lot of things acquire a lot of money like have attractions at certain levels and the only way you can get those things to enchant the attractions to be at certain levels is by buying their bundles and i didn't think that is fair like since they added that enchantment thing the game has been really really hard and unfair like dmk come on Okay, so now I finally have enough stars to complete the quest. Let's fix the crack in the floor and see what the beast has to say. You have fixed the crack in the floor. 
It's good to see something become whole again. Yeah, it does look better. When I was young, this room was filled with music and dancing. I feel bad for him. It must have been amazing. You know we can reclaim the past, look to the future. Let's look to the future. It's always good to try something new. Perhaps there will be more dances in this ballroom. I can't wait to start customizing. Let's not just fix the damage. Let's restore the room. I would like that. He seems to like that idea. Let's start by taking down those torn banners. We do need to change those banners, but not in this episode, because again, we're doing two princesses in this episode, so here is Mulan. Okay, so where I last left off, we were getting scrolls for Mulan's father. So I'm going to have to play two rounds with Mulan in order to get enough stars so I can complete the task. Anyway, I was actually kind of thinking of some concepts and ideas they could do for the game. And I was thinking, hopefully soon, one day in the future, they can add Mushu and Little Brother. I think adding those two characters will definitely continue the story and make it more interesting. Because Mushu, he's amazing. He's literally one of the most amazing Disney characters ever created. Seriously. Amazing. And I also think Little Brother will be amazing to add to the game since he is the one who caused the damage in Mulan's room in the first place. Because I think that's a really cool concept for the story. I like it that they weren't doing the other stories was like, oh, the jewels destroyed the kingdom, so you have to save them right away in the game. You know, it's Little Brother destroyed the place and we have to kind of clean it up and maybe turn the room into something better than it was before. I think it'd be nice if DMK, sorry, not DMK, Majestic Quest did that more often. And then slowly as you progress in the story, they can add something related to the jewels and the storm. You know, I think that could be a really cool concept for the game because it won't start with the storm immediately. It'll start with something else. Sometimes they can maybe start the storm immediately, you know, try mix it up a little, you know, try make the story for each princess as different and unique as possible from the rooms to the decorating to the story just about everything to be different from the other because you don't want to feel too too similar you know but if you guys do have any cool ideas or concepts or things you want them to add to the game go to their official facebook account and just comment what you think they should add to the game I think it would be really nice if they could listen to the fans a little bit. Okay, one down, one to go. Anyway, I actually came up with a really cool concept of what they could do over Majestic Quest later in the year. So one of my ideas is maybe they should add Tiana to the game this year, and her story can take place when they're fixing the building to get it ready to make the restaurant. Because you know at the end of the movie, they buy the the building, they're able to fix it, make it into the grand restaurant that Tiana dreamed of, and they live half ever after. I'm thinking that could be a really cool concept. I was thinking that we could customize the tables, customize the background of the stage, customize the plants, the lamps. Like, that could be a really cool idea for the next update. Because at first I was thinking, Hmm, maybe they're taking long because they're planning to add more than one princess. Maybe they're planning to add two or three new princesses at once with a bunch of new levels to keep us busy. Or they're just taking a long time, they're making excuses, they're just not updating the game. And now they're realizing, oh shoot, it's been months now, we need to update the game. Um, sorry about that car alarm, it's been going off a few times actually today. I don't know why, but it's just been going off. <laughs> or maybe one day they can add something with the comfy cozy costumes, because I know DMK has this thing where they've been slowly adding the comfy cozy costumes to the Disney princesses, and I'm thinking that could be a really cool thing to add to Majestic Quest, because 
it is a game about the Disney princesses, so it makes sense to have something related to the Disney princesses in it. So I was thinking, why not the Comfy Cozy costumes? Like, the Comfy Cozy costumes look so cool. I haven't actually watched the movie. Like, I can't believe the movie's been around for like almost two years now, and I have not even once watched the movie. And yet, I really love the costumes. I think most people watched it probably because of the Disney princesses were showing up in it. That's probably why. And have you noticed, I learned how to put the end part in speed on this app. Finally. And when I mean by app, I mean Power Director, not Majestic Quest. I've actually been using two apps made by the same creator just to make the videos due to some problems on my devices. I found the scrolls. They were wrapped in silk. Ah, yes, the silk is part of your dowry. It's beautiful, but father, I'm not ready to marry yet. There are things I want to do first. I want to train girls like I was trained in the army. That's a good idea. Well, after what the Emperor said, you will have many students. That's what I hope. How should I cut the Tiafu scrolls? Into three pieces, each four hand widths wide. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that for another video because I don't want to do too much today. Did you enjoy meeting Mulan? Mm, yes, yes I did. Would you like to rate the game? I already rated the game, so I'm not gonna do it again because uh, I already did. But anyway, that is all for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video of Majestic Quest. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the little bell so you don't miss my videos. I try to post often as I can, and hopefully you guys will see me in my livestream reaction coming up. Bye! See you soon!